Hello and welcome to another update video about Bonk. So Bonk chart is currently moving in this way for that we were expecting. Uh, you might remember if you watched previous videos that we were watching for a potential break of the trend line as a signal that this way four, which was already on the chart and definitely due, has finally started. Now we have this pullback. We are now in a support region. We want to talk a little bit about the microstructure. In um, some of the last updates, and this is um, from our Discord server, the um, update that was sent through just a few days ago, you can see here the price was still hovering above the trend line and the wave four was already charted. And we're pretty much now where that A wave label was located. So just above that 38.2 retracement. And the communication was that the price is still working on circle three. A break below the trend line could indicate the end of the current local uptrend. The trend line was really valuable actually. At that stage, analyzing the structure carefully for potential signs of circle wave four beginning would be essential. And that's what we've done. And that's why we're here because the price has really reached that area just above the 38.2 retracement. Normally we want an A wave in such a way four to complete in that area exactly here between the 38.2 and the 23.6 retracement, ideally, ideally. Um, but as you know, this here is a diagonal pattern to the upside, at least in my interpretation. And I see a, um, a potentially wider wave four likely. So at the moment I see this only as wave A of four. The current structure certainly would confirm that because the upside momentum is really weak. You know, if, if wave four was already over, we would need to see some more aggressive upside momentum. Um, I am watching, however, for signals that possibly a B wave bounce could occur and then a C wave down. That's what I'm tracking, A, B, C. And the B wave, yeah, is pretty much due, right? It's, uh, we're now in that area. The move down looks like a three wave move. A waves are often uh, three wave movements. I cannot rule out, obviously, one more low in wave A to reach that 38.2 retracement at uh, 37274. But from here, yeah, be, be, be ready for a B wave. And that B wave can overshoot, doesn't have to, it doesn't need to. Um, and then we are going to watch for a C wave down. And that means possibly we might end this wave for in this area before breaking below 27695. That would be ideal because any break below 27695 would be too bearish for a wave four. It, um, it, it, where exactly the C wave will end will really depend on where the B wave tops. Because if the B wave overshoots, which they sometimes do, it doesn't have to because the third wave is already so extended. So it's not like the B wave needs to stretch higher to reach a certain target. We've done all that. Um, but if the B wave is weak, the C wave might go a little lower. If the B wave is aggressive and overshoots even, you know, then, then the C wave might even end in the area where that A wave is located. So we need a little bit more price data to determine that, but this is the area where, from where we are watching for a, for a rally and uh, probably not yet. Okay. But whenever we are in these areas, we need to be ready for it. It's a bit of a pullback now, um, but it's still a fairly shallow pullback for a wave four. Next upside level. So if we really get one more high and this, the fifth wave starts, I think we can look at the 261.8 extension as next target, possibly higher, but that's sort of the next milestone target um 276 no 76085 but let's first complete this wave four that's the update about bonk hope you like the update if you did please hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe and if you really like the content then please check out the channel membership also make sure that you follow us on instagram and twitter for additional content thanks a lot for watching bye bye